हेलो लर्नर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर विशाल सूद टीचर एजुकेटर यू हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस यूनिट्स अबाउट डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स स्टार्टेड फॉर अचीविंग द टारगेट ऑफ यूनिवर्सल प्राइमरी एजुकेशन दीज प्रोजेक्ट्स हैव बीन स्टार्टेड बाय डिफरेंट स्टेट्स अराउंड द नुक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द आर कंट्री एंड जस्ट लाइक शिक्षा कर्मी इन राजस्थान बिहार एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट इन बिहार Similarly, one education project was started by the uh, state government of uh, Uttar Pradesh. That is Uttar Pradesh Basic Education Project. Today we are going to discuss about this uh, basic education pro uh, project started by Uttar Pradesh government. Now, what we are going to discuss in today's discussion is the major points of discussion will be UP Basic Education Project and introductory remark. the second one will be the organogram of uttar pradesh education for all objectives of uttar pradesh basic education project the target area of uttar pradesh basic education project the provisions the strategies which have been made under uttar pradesh basic education project and the last point of today's discussion will be activities undertaken in uttar pradesh basic education project so these these will be the main points of our today's discussion now what about the conceptualize or the emergence of this uttar pradesh basic education project this project was launched by the up state government under the assistance of world bank in 1993 and the main objective of this uttar pradesh basic education project was to achieve the target of universal primary education in the state of uttar pradesh as conceptualized in the article 45 of indian constitution this project was implemented by a society of uttar pradesh with this society was named as sabhi ke liye shiksha priyojana parishad uttar pradesh a education for all project board so this was the society under which this up basic education project was implemented was launched under the assistance of world bank 199 in 1993 now before going to the discussion or before taking this discussion to the next issue uh, let's have a watch on video that what uttar pradesh government or the state of uttar pradesh is doing at present in the field of basic education or is doing in the field of primary education so this is a video through which you can see what actions what activities have been taken by the uttar pradesh state government to promote elementary education to improve its quality and to achieve the target of universal primary education suno ghanti baji school ki chalo school tumko pukare pal 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 roshni jo mili school ki jagmata किताबें सारी स्कूल स्कूल यूनिफॉर्म भी तुम्हारी स्कूल 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 अब घर से चौक स्कूल के गेट पर तुम थोड़ा सा भी जो चले प्यार और गर्मी से तुमको पढ़ाएंगे टीचर है ऐसे भले
as you have seen in this video that different activities have been undertaken by the Uttar Pradesh State Education Department to improve the quality of elementary education in the state. As you have seen in uh, this video, the different activities like morning assembly first, then plantation second, then uh, game sessions are organized for the primary school students, then cleanliness awareness campaigns are organized by the basic education department then health and hygiene programs are organized by the schools to improve the hygienic status of the localities then girls hygiene programs are organized by the basic education department to improve health awareness among girls so a number of programs have been run under the uh, rubric of this basic education department by the uttar pradesh government so these programs are helping in achieving the target of universal elementary education now how this basic education project or education for all project is implemented or is launched in the state of Uttar Pradesh. For that, the organizational structure at the state level is followed and that organizational structure you can see on the screen that at the topmost level, at the state level, there is a state project director for basic education project in Uttar Pradesh. This state uh, project director is assisted by additional state project director who under whom two additional project directors and finance, con uh, finance controller work under the additional state project director. Then there are senior professionals, senior account officers, system analysts, account officers and other professionals. They work under the additional project director and senior professionals to improve the uh, status of elementary education in the state of uh, Uttar Pradesh. So this is the organogram or the organizational structure uh, in which the overall lead is uh, given by the state project director and in this manner the directions or the guidelines reach to the grassroots level so that the different interventions at the elementary level could reach to the uh, real beneficiary that is the schools, the teachers, the children and the local public or the local community. So this is the organizational structure of uh, education for all project or uh, basic education project in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Now, why this uh, Uttar Pradesh basic education project was launched in the state? The first and foremost uh, Im important objective of Uttar Pradesh basic education project was that is universal primary education. That is, we wish to achieve the target of universal primary education for all children in the state of UP through this basic education project. So, universal primary education. Now, this universal primary education can be seen in terms of three aspects. The first aspect is universal participation of all children, whether through formal means or through non-formal means. Universal participation of all children means all children in the age range of 6 to 14 years should be enrolled in the elementary schools. They should get uh, admission in the schools either through formal means or through non-formal education centers. There are children who uh, due to one or the other reason are not able to attend regular schools who due to other family problems are not able to get admission in this. For that, for involving those students in the mainstream, for giving them primary education uh, or the elementary education, there are non-formal measures and we are uh, under this uh, UP basic education project, we are trying to provide or we have tried to uh, provide the enrollment to all these children. The second was universal access that the schools, the primary schools should be in the reach of the children and no children should be deprived of the primary education. This is another aspect of universal primary education, the main goal of uh, UP basic education project. The third objective of UP basic education project is universal retention and completion. Universal retention stands to that any child who gets admission in first class should uh, must complete the class fifth by the age of 
11 years or class 8 by the age of 14 years so no child should get should be dropped from the primary schooling or the elementary schooling uh, this is universal retention universal completion means every child should complete five five years of primary schooling or eight years of elementary schooling and this is one of the aspect of universal elementary education which is the main objective of uttar pradesh basic education projects so this is these are the main objectives of uttar pradesh basic education project that is universal assess the reach of the children to the schools the second is universal participation of all children whether it is through the formal means or through the non formal means and universal retention and completion by all children of primary or the elementary schools as the case may be as far as rte act is concerned we are now trying we are now saying about right to education up to the elementary level so every child should complete 8 years of schooling elementary schooling by the age of 14 years so this these are the objectives now what other objectives of uttar pradesh basic education project are one is universal achievement that is minimum levels of learning you can see on the screen minimum levels of learning mll every child should attain minimum level of learnings and it is a quality parameter it is a parameter that assess the quality of elementary education that we are delivering in the school so this this was also one of the objective of uh, up basic education project then another objective is gender equality in education gender equality means there should be no discrimination in admission in assess or in any other aspect in terms of gender there should be no discrimination between boys and girls all girls uh, should be enrolled in the schools so that they can get education so this gender equality is one of the objective another objective is education and skill development of youth so development of skills and providing education to the youth so that they can contribute to the development of the nation is also one of the objective of uttar pradesh basic education project female empowerment the awareness in the uh, female population in uttar pradesh state has been uh, recognized as not up to the satisfactory level or uh, we may say that is not up to the uh, level of uh, satisfaction so in order to empower them in order to bring uh, uh, more awareness uh, among them regarding different issues regarding education regarding environment regarding health and hygiene regarding their rights and responsibilities this basic education project is contributing towards that also so this is also one of the major objective of up basic education project another objective of up basic education project was that is equal educational opportunities to the sc and st students the, the socially deprived classes in the uh, state of uttar pradesh they should not be deprived of the educational opportunities they should be given equal opportunities and equitable chances to uh, be in the mainstream and to get education through different means this is also one of the major objective of uttar pradesh basic education project so in nutshell we can say that five other major objectives of uttar pradesh basic education project were the first is universal achievement that is to attain mll by the uh, all the students who are attaining elementary education who are uh, uh, this uh, receiving elementary education they should attain minimum levels of learning the second is gender equality in education the third is education and skill development of youth the fourth is female empowerment and the fifth one is equal educational opportunities to sc and st students so these were the objectives now we will discuss about the target area where this project was established the different activities of this up basic education project were concentrated in 10 targeted districts out of 63 districts of uttar pradesh including uttaranchal when this project up basic education project was launched in the state of uttar pradesh then uttaranchal was a part of this state there were 63 districts at that time in uttar pradesh and this up basic education project was launched was implemented in 10 targeted districts to improve the basic education status in those 10 districts these 10 districts were varanasi allahabad banda itawa सीतापुर 
अलीगढ़ सहारनपुर गोरखपुर पौड़ी एंड नैनीताल सो दीज वर द टेन डिस्ट्रिक्स विच वर लिटरेसी वाइज एट द बॉटम लेवल और नॉट परफॉर्मिंग सेटिस्फैक्टरली सो दीज टेन डिस्ट्रिक्स वर सेलेक्टेड एंड दीज टेन डिस्ट्रिक्स वर इन दीज टेन डिस्ट्रिक्स देन दिस प्रोजेक्ट यूपी बेसिक एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लॉन्च सो दिस वॉज द टारगेटेड एरिया नाउ दिस बेसिक एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल प्रोजेक्ट इज इंप्लीमेंटेड थ्रू आउट होल ऑफ द उत्तर प्रदेश स्टेट सो दिस वॉज द टारगेटेड एरिया now what were the strategies what were the provisions made under up basic education project first establishing strong framework of state and district level planning management and professional support organization to build the institutional capacity to plan manage and evaluate different basic education development programs under basic education project there is a provision to establish a strong framework of state level district level agencies so that they can properly plan about so that they can properly manage and they can provide professional support to different grassroots level organization or lower level organization so that different intervention strategies under basic education project could be uh, implemented properly and their objectives pre conceptualized objectives could be achieved to a satisfactory level so this was the strategy that a strong framework of different organization right from the top level to the bottom level there should be a strong framework second provision second strategy adopted under basic education project was improving access to basic education in 10 district by constructing more primary and upper primary schools in the deprived areas the 10 Ten districts where this project was launched, where this program was launched in the deprived areas of those districts, the provision was made to construct more primary and more upper primary schools, so that the access to basic education, so that the access to elementary education could be improved, and no child should remain debarred of. elementary education or basic education so construction of more primary schools and upper primary schools was also one of the provision was also one of the strategy that was adopted by up basic education project the third is support to redesigned implementation of non formal education for out of school children now the children who were not able to attend formal schooling they were uh, enrolled through non formal education system and this provision this strategy was adopted under up basic education project that there the support should be provided for implementation of non formal education in a proper manner so this these the, the strategies now you can see in these four pictures that bus what basic education uh, is doing one is improving teaching learning process second development of teaching learning material providing nutritional support mid day meals to the students recruitment of teachers so these are the activities which are undertaken by the up basic education project not only for improvement of basic education in quantitative terms but also in terms of quality improvement now what under activities specific activities are undertaken by the up basic education project now we will discuss on those the up basic education project uh, takes educational activities on culture communication science and environment different sort of activities cultural programs different sort of academic programs different sort of uh, uh, programs related to environment as we have seen in the video just like plantation then then uh, cultural programs morning assembly so these programs are undertaken by this uh, basic education project so that awareness among the uh, local people the community and the children could be improved so other programs which are undertaken or the activities undertaken that is to create a sense of social justice ekta divas rallies or uh, rallies on different issues are being organized by the schools then there is a provision of early childhood education under basic education project under basic education project there is a provision the activities of curriculum development 
curriculum revision and textbook revision are also undertaken the textbooks are uh, revised at an appropriate time and the local content or the local needs are taken into consideration while developing the curriculum and the textbooks then there was a provision of in service training for teachers in order to improve the professional skills the knowledge and the understanding of the teachers there was provision of in service training to the uh, teachers under basic education project then there was emphasis on women and girls education in order to improve the awareness among women regarding different issues and in order to improve the status of girls education in the state of uttar pradesh up basic education project has uh, contributed to a larger extent then the other activities which are undertaken in up basic education project are related to strengthening of school management for improving quality of education in order to improve the quality of education different school management related activities are undertaken which involves the strength thinning of the school management committees involving local community in the educational affairs involving parents in different affairs of the schools so that the school management will be strengthened and as the school management will be strengthened there will be more say of the community more say of the parents in the uh, school management the quality of elementary education will definitely be improved so these different activity different sort of activities are undertaken uh, under basic education project which in uh, which include curriculum and textbook revision early childhood education in service training of the teachers strengthening of school management emphasis on women awareness and girls education so these were the activities undertaken by up basic education project now you can see in the pictures that different activities are undertaken and this first if we look at this picture this is for improvement of quality in education for improvement in delivery of instruction use use of modern technology in the transaction of the curriculum this is one of the activity the second activity you can see this is the training of the master trainers the teachers who are involved in further imparting training to the teachers they are being imparted training so that they can uh, effectively uh, uh, effectively train the teachers at the grassroots level this is third where students are uh, imparted training in uh, uh, developing different kind of learning materials so learners in today's discussion we discussed about up basic education project how this project was started in uh, uttar pradesh to achieve the target of universal primary education what was the main goal of this basic education project what were the other objectives of basic education project in uttar pradesh and then we discussed about the strategies or the provisions made under this project where this project was launched we also discussed about the 10 district the target area of this project where this project was launched and then we discussed about the activities which were undertaken uh, in this project basic education project and what are the achievements of this basic education project in uttar pradesh hope you have learned you have understood about all of this thank you